folks, I'm Naomi. I'm Casey. And we're Mary. awesome. Mary. Welcome to our first ever How To For Noobs. We're very experienced professional musicians now, but we were once newbies just like you. We're practically the most experienced musicians you'll ever meet. Ever. <laughs> we decided to put together a list of things that you can carry in a duffel bag. I mean, I can fit most of the stuff in here with the exception of a couple of things. This is stuff that you probably will forget about, but you should have. You should definitely have. Let's begin. Bring extra money to your gigs. Uh, you don't want to have to, have to pay for drugs and hookers, so. Or more practical use. <laughs> Change for your merch Change table. for your merch table, yeah. Batteries. <laughs> you can't play your show because you run out of batteries, you're just an idiot. And that's a very noob move. Very noob. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you should always bring writing utensils to your gigs. So you can write things. <laughs> too far. <laughs> String winder. Duh. Extra strings. Cables. XLR. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. RCA to mini stereo. Chargers. Speaker cables. Extension cord. This power supply thing, too. An extra microphone. Because, let's face it, you don't want to lick other people's microphones. Because that's gross. It's like making out with every person who's singing to that microphone. Skeezy bar dudes. Do you want to make out with other guys in other bands? <laughs> if you have a funny size microphone that you bring to shows, make sure you bring its clip. Drumsticks, even if you're not a drummer, because your drummer's probably going to forget them, because he's a noob. If you have a tube amp, always bring a backup set of tubes. Don't forget your tuner. It's not a tuner. Don't forget to bring some small assortments of tools. Right now I only have an Allen wrench. And a screwdriver. Oh, and a screwdriver. And these little handy multi-tool things are great too. And scissors. And, si and a flashlight. And a flashlight, you know. Pretend this is duct tape, and you should also bring this kind of tape to label all of your stuff that you bring. At the end of the night, you don't want to argue whose microphone it is. Yeah. It's yours. It's your damn Label microphone. your stuff. Label your stuff. Honey, it's really good for your voice. Mm -hmm. I just heat up. Warm water and put honey in it and then I guzzle it and it coats your vocal cords and it works. I just like squeeze it into my mouth. Which is gross. Snacks. Because you might get grumpy. Nobody likes hangry chicks. More snacks. More snacks. Keep your blood sugar up. Pit stick. Nobody likes smelly band boys. No. Tampons. <laughs> because you never know when you might start to flow. Always be prepared, much like a Boy Scout. Bring tampons, even if you don't have your period. Because when you're on tour, weird <laughs> happens with your cycle. Ibuprofen or Tylenol or Midol or all of them. Drugs. Drugs. We do not condone it. We do not condone the use of illegal drugs. Just the ones that are terrible for you that the FDA approves. A fan. Because if nobody's in the room, you still have a fan. You just have a fan music. Or if it gets really hot. <laughs> Fingernail clippers, because sometimes when you show up to a gig, you realize you didn't cut your fingernails and you can't play your guitar. Or you could just bite your nails. No, don't bite your nails. I don't have one here, but you should think about bringing a bar stool, like one of those foldy, foldy up ones that lay flat. This one time, I was playing an acoustic show, and I got really, really sick, and I couldn't stand up without wanting to spew, and so I sat on a bar stool, and the show went on. That's rock and roll right there. It's also a good idea, especially if you're going to be playing outdoor shows, to bring your own tent canopy. 100 degrees in the shade is way better than 100 degrees in the sun. Sunburns are for noobs. Sunburns are for noobs. A super glue. You never know when you might need a kazoo. Extra straps. Don't forget your strap locks. Always put strap locks on your guitars. IEC power cables. That's what the technical term for these are. Tons of the amplifiers that I use use these things, and I can't tell you how often they get lost. And one of the other bands left there is at the last venue. You get to be the guy who saves the day because you have an extra one. Business cards. Or handout flyer things. Handout flyers. 
Because no one's going to remember what the name of your band is when one o'clock in the morning rolls around. They'd scrunch it up and put it in their pocket, and then I'll pull it out tomorrow after they're not drunk anymore and take a look at it and like, hey, oh yeah. I'll add them on Facebook. She's pretty good. I liked her butt. <laughs> Close pins, because this one time I was playing a really long set, like three hour set out in the, um, outside, and it was windy, and this held my lyrics down. Bring your own DI box. Sometimes the sound man ends up being a noob, so bring your own. And if you don't need it, guess what? Someone in the other band is going to need it. And you used to be the cool girl at the show that saved the day because she brought her own DI box. Bring lots of guitar picks. The more the merrier. It's a guitar pick party. Markers. Because you're going to sign lots of autographs because lots you're autographs. so cool. Because you're so cool. Safety pins and a needle and thread. Sometime you're going to have a wardrobe malfunction. And it's not okay to have Duda. And it's not okay to have your boob show on stage if you're not meaning for them to show. Bandages. Because you're probably going to cut stuff open. If you're lucky. Hydration. Dehydration is for noobs. Because if you pass out on stage just because you're dehydrated, that's really, really lame. Plus, it's really good for your vocals. Insoles, because back pain is for noobs. And old men. Earplugs, because deafness is for noobs. <laughs> Notebooks, for writing stuff down. Spare keys, because what happens when you're in the middle of Timbuktu and you have to use a porta potty at the festival and you drop the one and only van key in the porta potty and then your band members are going to be mad at you and they're going to force you to go down into that porta potty and roll up your sleeve because you're going in and getting that key because that's the only key to the van. Or you don't be a noob and you just get everybody in the band a van key and you don't have to go into the porta potty. Everybody poops in those. Everybody poops. Soldering kit. Because stuff breaks. Tip jobs. Especially if you play acoustic shows. Well, you can do it at all your shows, but especially acoustic shows because this is your gas money. A whole outfit. Not just pants, but a shirt and socks and unders. Because after a show, you'll probably be really sweaty if you're a boy. But not me. Nobody likes smelly boys or moist ones. Adapters. All sorts of different kinds of adapters. Bring a guitar stand and don't prop your guitar up against your amp because it's going to fall over. Always bring a mic stand no matter what. Half the time the venue that you play won't have boom stands. What you got there bud? It's a monitor. Always bring at least one monitor. A lot of venues won't have monitors. And if you have a monitor, bring it. There is absolutely, positively, no excuse that you shouldn't be able to hear yourself at a show. I don't want to hear you sing off tune if you had the option of bringing a monitor. Plus, don't be an idiot. Don't strain your vocals if you don't have to. Get your monitor. Don't be a noob. I'm serious. A fold-up table that you can use for your merch and or another one that you can use for guitar repairs. Thank you for watching and have an excellent day. That's a really dumb ending. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> this has been an informative video by Casey. And Neil. That's what it makes things sound <laughs> Well done. Thank you. If you think we missed anything that you think is essential to put in your gig bag, let us know in the comments below. You sound really serious. Do it now. This has been Stuff to Put in Your Emergency Gig Bag to Not Be a Noob by Naomi and Casey. Don't be a noob. This has been How To for Noobs. Oh. <laughs>